The RBD Instruments Micro CMA is a compact OJ electron spectrometer that fits on a 2 and 3 quarter inch flange. It's based on the original cylindrical mirror analyzer design, which has an entrance angle of 42.3 degrees plus or minus 6 degrees. And so by moving the analyzer closer to the target, as is required with a smaller analyzer, we're effectively able to collect about the same number of electrons as much larger analyzers can. We incorporate a 3 kV electron gun, which makes it very easy to align the analyzer to the sample, so no off-axis electron gun is required. And the Z translator, which is optional, um, will also make it very easy to move the analyzer in and out, and that, that can be automated as well. We use a USB protocol to communicate with the controller. The controller provides all functions for the electron gun and the analyzer. It's very easy to align the analyzer. Step one is you position it about three millimeters from your sample. Then we'll turn on the electron gun. Here I'll turn the gun on and manually sweep the current up increase the current until I can get some emission. Um, we're going to have an automatic um, warm-up routine in the next version of the software, as well as automatic outgas and conditioning routines. When you set up the electron gun for a particular value of a parameter of current, you'll be able to save those settings as well and then associate those for future acquisitions of surveys or alignments. Okay, so I'll dial down the emission voltage a little bit to give me a little bit more target current. Okay, then we start in a, an alignment, an elastic peak. In this case, I'm doing a 2 kV elastic peak. You could also do a 3 kV elastic peak. And so now I just position the analyzer a little bit closer to the sample so that my elastic peak comes in at 2 kV. Okay, let's do a survey. Just click on New Survey and Acquire. Here I've set up a survey for 30 to 1030 EV. The multiplier voltage is automatically set and the scale will adjust automatically as well. So here we are collecting N over E OJ data. We can see the OJ peaks as they're being acquired in real time. Of course, the more sweeps you get that you take, the better the signal to noise. Okay, so now that we've taken the data, we want to analyze it. So what I will have done here is I've already marked a few peaks on a survey. We'll mark another peak here, and then we'll differentiate and do an atomic concentration. Um, some of the features that will be included will be like automatic peak ID and automatic atomic concentration. Okay, that's a quick preview. Contact us for more info.